Right here is Cornus Cusa, Cusa dogwood. Uh, now this is one of my favorite dogwoods. Now native to North America is Cornus Florida, the flowering dogwood. This is basically the Asian equivalent, Cornus Cusa, uh, the Cusa dogwood. Uh, quite beautiful, glossy foliage. Uh, you can see the fruit is coming on here. These are little droops that uh, hang on to this. And these cherry-like seeds will become uh, quite red and enlarged uh, by the end of the summer. And they're actually edible. Uh, don't taste very great. They're kind of astringent, uh, but are edible. Very classic Cornus venation in the leaf. Cornus cusa, uh, the Asian dogwood, uh, one of the plants that is a really good substitute for Cornus Florida, our native dogwood, if necessary. Now, I'm standing here next to the bark of Cornus Cusa, and this is very typical this time of year where the bark starts to exfoliate and leave this lacy-like pattern underneath uh, where you can see the multi-toned color of the bark. Very typical. That's one good way to tell the difference. The bark is quite distinct between Cornus Florida and Cornus Cusa. Uh, I think the bark is a little bit more attractive on Cornus Cusa. One of the difference in flowering, native dogwood, our na North American native Cornus Florida dogwood, blooms before foliage appears on the tree. Cornus Cusa blooms a little bit later and it blooms after the foliage is on it. And so with our native dogwood, you do, it's a little bit showier in some ways because there's no foliage. But Cornus Cusa is quite beautiful because the, how the foliage uh, is below the flower, how the flower lays on top of the foliage. So you have to make that decision. I would like both of them in my home landscape because you get a succession of bloom from the Cornus Florida and then transitioning into Cornus Cusa. Now Cornus Cusa doesn't have quite as, few, quite as many disease problems as our native dogwood does. So consider both of these species for the home landscape. Cornus Cusa, 20 to 30 foot high, 20 to 30 foot wide, kind of vase shaped in youth and then rounding out as it matures. It's hardy from zones five through eight, hardy through, from zones five through eight. Not a lot of disease and insect problems that you need to worry about with Cornus Cusa. And here's a landscape tip. Blooms later than a flowering dogwood. Can be showier than a flowering dogwood. Less pest and disease problems than flowering dogwood.